Alright, yo, what up? I'm live. Alright. Uh, you know what? This explains a lot. This is an Unreal Engine game. <laughs> Unreal Engine was infamous. Um, for running like shit on PS3. Uh, in my knowledge, it was only Epic Games themselves that made anything good. Well, it was Epic Games, there have been a few exceptions, but like a lot of games ran like complete trash on uh, PS3 if they used Unreal Engine. So there's every chance that this ran a ton better on the Xbox, which is unfortunate. I would really love a remaster of this, because this is a really cool game. But alas, it's not supposed to be. Not meant to be. So I'm just making sure that everything has gone live. Um, Alright, the stream is live. Bitrate seems consistent. No drops of frames. Uh, alright, well, seems like everything's going well. I'm now streaming at 30 FPS instead of 60, because this game barely reaches 30, let alone 60. So there's really no point in me streaming this at 60. <laughs> Let's be real. Let's be fucking real. <laughs> Zero point in this being streamed at 60 FPS. <laughs> so. Alright. Damn right. Alright, what the fuck was I doing? Ah. That frame rate, though. So I'm also back, I'm also using Twitch TV to stream and YouTube for the VODs. Although what I will say is that uh, Activision have copyright claimed the video that I put up, um, which to me is bullshit since they no longer own the rights. But whatever. I think it's complete horseshit if they don't own the rights. To say that they can copyright claim something. But there you go. That's YouTube for you. And they've only just done something about Logan Paul. Which is fucking stupid. Because if I remember correctly, PewDiePie had a reaction from YouTube pretty instantaneously. Feels like a massive double standard. More so than the already present double standard of how YouTube treats its major talent versus its actual users. Of which there is quite a significant double standard there. As I have, um fucking witness this <laughs> shit the trajectory on these rockets are really weird like they don't make a lot of sense maybe they're grenade launchers but even so the trajectory is still really weird on them Oh boy. What are you at though? Alright. Yeah. Come here, bro. Look at my face. Damn, I messed up. <laughs> well, that solved that issue. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let me just check on down here, see what's up. 
Oh, that's a leg or an arm or something. Alright. Objects that shimmer can be used to kill objects. Okay. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. Oh, how convenient. How convenient, indeed. What are you saying? I can't jump up on that shit. Fuck this. <laughs> I'm not taking part in no beam walk. You can fuck off. Nope, not doing that. Uh, I don't. I don't really care about these audio logs. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be real here. I'm just gonna collect them for the sake of collecting them. But I don't give too much of a shit. Cause the thing is, is like this story is pretty well tread, you know, pretty well trodden, and like. You know, it's just, you know, I just don't see them offering any interesting insights, but maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think so. God, help me. Oh, what's up, buddy? Ow! That hurt quite a lot. Get demolished, my friend. Alright, there's so many of them here. Now we can see them. What up, fam? And I leveled up. Get over here. Into. Oh, that's gotta suck. Yeah, that'd, that'd hurt, I imagine. That's funny. Ow. Ow. Can you... You know what? Where's the other dude? Oh, I killed him. Sweet. So I imagine if you want to find all the secrets, you just run around like this, but that seems really fucked up. I don't want to do that. <laughs> However, what I will do is look down here, though. Come on. I can smell a secret. And I just saw one out the corner of my eye. But I can smell them. Secretly. There we go. Sweet. <clears throat> so I've got some skill points. Um, so let me just check what I can actually upgrade. Skill, claw, anything? No, can't do my claws. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna wait and upgrade my claws more. <clears throat> Cause, like I said, health is health is. Oh, oh look at my clothes ripping. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Rocket launchers. Where are they coming from? I can't. Oh, there you are. Damn, that is quite the... Damn. Those are some really super duper rockets, man. Being able to travel that far and then travel back? What is this sorcery? It's magical. Oh, I'm coming for that ass, boy. <laughs> That's kind of that's satisfying. Throw it. Oh, yo, what up? Yeah. You damn right. I'm dangerous as hell. Man, I'm crazy. Why would you taunt a guy with claws coming out of his hand? 
hands. Uh, I don't, I don't get that. <clears throat> they make Reddit posts. Today I fucked up. I taunted a guy who can heal indefinitely. That has claws coming out of his hands, and he murked me. <laughs> Jesus. Get thrown. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, that's what's up. Get out of here. Yo, that leg, though. Oh, and it's still there. All right. <laughs> Good to know. Oh, what up, dudes? No, not the grill. Don't take the grill. Uh, there's been a few frame drops. I'm still not overly pleased about that. But... The frame droppage hasn't been going nuts. That much I will say. But I am locally recording now, so... Uh, the frame drops have been going... Well, the frame drop was severe when it happened. That is fucking stupid. I don't get this website. How do people stream on Twitch, man? Like, oh fuck, you know what I didn't do? I didn't change the server that I wanted to use. And now I don't think I can do... I don't think I can change it. Shit. Well, if it's automatic, surely you would think they'd pick the best one, right? Which is London, apparently. Like, you'd think they'd pick the best one. Surely, right? Maybe the frame drop is picking a different server. That's really weird. YouTube certainly does things a bit smoother. <clears throat> Which you'd expect, I guess, but... Yeah... Like, my only issue is that, like, is the frame drops that I get. And they, they're nonsensical, really. Because I never really get frame drops on YouTube. Damn. What was it? What was it? Was... Oh, what was it do this? What was the button to... Damn. What was the button to jump over them? So you could do something to jump over them. I've forgotten what that is. What was it? Was it... Uh... Was it... Was it this? God damn it. <clears throat> I, I don't mm, I don't remember how to do this oh you'd lock on and then jump over them or not that's fine too no okay so something mm. what am I not doing right here am I not doing right? Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, really, fam? You're not gonna... Right. Oh, uh, it's the fucking roll input. Ugh. Mm, disgusting. They're really easy to deal with. It's just... Well, I say easy, but... I mean, if all I, if all I can do to them is that, that's pretty fucking lame. Uh, so I assume they came from over here, right? Maybe. I don't know where I'm going anymore. 
Hey, buddies. So can I just do that to normal enemies too? Yeah, I can. All right. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's right. God damn it. Got him. <laughs> he thought. He thought wrong. Ooh. I want that. What does this do? Build my combat reflexes faster. A mutagen. Eh. Uh, I don't care. The vitality mutagen is good because <clears throat> it makes up for what I'm not leveling up, which is my vitality. Which I'm decidedly not leveling up. And instead, focusing on my combat abilities because they seem more important. That was a stupid mistake. I didn't realize he had a shield. Also, that guy is freaking out. Oh, fuck me. This isn't great. Let's do some of this. So let's stop freaking out. And we just do this. Yeah, that's right. God damn it. What's the follow-up to that move, then? Like... That, that seems ridiculous. Rockets, rockets, oh rockets, where are they coming? Oh. You come with me. Come over here. Get get thrown into. Them. No. No, not that. Oh god damn it. I want to throw you on a, that. Ah, oh, you're dead now. God damn it. So, track the scientist. Where did he go? Where did he go? Nobody knows. How are you supposed to track the scientist with that kind of view? Use feral senses? Use my nuts. Dragging across your chin. Kick. Yo, what up, though? How are you still talking? You are literally dead. <laughs> and the body is suddenly gone. Those feet, though. Cover up those feet, you dirty heathen. God damn it. I'm sorry, Mr. Logan. Moving both of us is really hard. I need to rest. Don't worry about This bitch. Okay, move yourself as far away from this place as you can. You got it? I can't leave without you. Open fire! What I don't get about this is, look, there's exit wounds. She should be getting shot. Bye, Mr. Logan. Like, there are clearly exit wounds. She should have gotten shot. <laughs> God damn it. What's good? Yeah. What's over here? As if I needed to know. Probably nothing. Nothing. Is this where I came from? I think it is. Uh, da, 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 da. You always, you know, you gotta look around. You never know what might show up. Never know. Such as this. What the shit is this? I don't know what that. I don't know why. <clears throat> I don't even know why that was highlighted. But there you go. Yay! 
I'm just gonna toss them. <clears throat> just why not? Gosh darn it. Shoot me again. Use with your really weird trajectory rockets. That I don't fully. Jesus, that's loud. But sir, men are still in there. You must have me confused with a commanding officer who repeats himself. Floodgates are now open. Fuck, that was loud. Somebody's gonna chase me down. Water. And now this is where the frame rate takes a dive. Oh boy. Why am I running from this? Surely I would be completely fine. For fucking real. I haven't been captured though, I drowned. Although technically, Logan can't drown, it would just be v fucking terrible. Because he'd still live. It'd just be like the effect of drowning. Imagine drowning, but. Oh, that's, that's so loud. Can I just fucking skip this cutscene? But sir, no, I can't. You must have me confused with a commanding officer who repeats himself. Why, why is that so loud? I don't get that. But anyways. Time to run. Again. It's funny because you can see the seams in the level. Because I, I've used Unreal Engine, I have a feel for how this goes. And, um, I can tell how they've made this level. <laughs> Which is really funny. So basically they've got, like, they've got a section, a very small section, and it just repeats, right? It just repeats. So what they've done is they've stitched it together. Um, and in the editor, you literally just control V and just copy, paste, and move them. Oh, for fuck's sake. You copy, paste, and you move them. But what, that's what can sometimes happen when you're joining um, objects especially in the older Unreal Editor, which is what I used, is um, you can get, like, a, under certain si situations, you can get, like, a clip where it shows the seam where you've joined two meshes together. Uh, it doesn't do that with the brush, the BSP. It doesn't do that with BSP. Um, but designing a level using purely BSP is not plausible. So you have to do it with meshes. Um, so, yeah. So every level is made with a ton of meshes, right? So presumably the ground is a mesh, unless they've used a BSP and they've just used a terrain tool uh, and textured that. But there's a ton of meshes in the game and that tunnel was just a series of very small section me um, meshes. And because of the rendering and the stuff going on on the screen, you could see the 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 um, sections where the meshes join together. 
which is a problem I've had in some of my creations in the Unreal Editor. And there's really not, not a whole lot you can do about it. And um, it certainly helps if <clears throat> if there's no, like, overlap. Because the thing is, when you overlap two meshes together, you get very weird results sometimes. So you know in games when you see the, that weird clipping? That is a weird clipping. Usually it's because two meshes are overlaid on each other. And they clip under certain situations. Specifically, Unreal Engine games do this. Again, that's my main competency, so I'm not gonna be, you know, don't quote me about every engine. But typically speaking, that's why, why it happens. Um, so the two meshes are overlaid and it causes a clipping. But there has to be some overlay, otherwise it doesn't look like a smooth transition, unless you get it a perfectly right. Which I think there's even some issue with that in some aspect. But I don't think... I don't think it matters because um, under certain render conditions it'll still show the gap where the two meshes have been joined up. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I like talking about Unreal Engine games. Because I like the Unreal Engine, mostly. Great. Except for the except for the PS3. Unreal Engine on the PS3 is a heap of garbage, mostly. Companies usually have to work to get it to work right, and, it, and they don't. Because optimization on a 360, is, especially on the Unreal Engine, is a lot easier than it is on a PS3. You just can't get away with the same shit. <laughs> Epic Games knew that. That's why Unreal Tournament 3 runs superbly. I mean, there's also other companies, like Mass Effect comes to mind. Mass Effect uses the Unreal Engine. To great effect, actually. And, um... Mass Effect did it just fine. Specifically, like Mass Effect 2. I haven't really played Mass Effect 1 on the series on the PS3. <clears throat> but Mass Effect 2 certainly was very good on the PS3. Very, very smooth, stable frame rate. Looked nice. It was very good. So, like, it is possible to get a good game on the on the PS3 with Unreal Engine, but people just didn't want to put in the effort because it was more difficult. Because devs be devs not it's not so much devs be lazy; it's more devs be time constricted to fuck. <laughs> Budgetarian time constraints suck. For instance, just real quick, all of this stuff is probably meshes. Right? So all of this is built on meshes. However, there is an underlying BSP. I mean, there doesn't have to be an underlying BSP. And I believe most games are made with additive, um, additive maps. 
Because in Unreal Editor, you get two kinds of maps, detractive and additive. Detractive means you need to have an overarching BSP, and you kind of, well, oh shit. Um, yeah, you have like an overarching BSP, and you need to like carve your map out of that, right? Whereas additive is just a big open empty space that you can add to. And I believe most things use additive. I don't imagine a lot of games would be made. <laughs> I don't imagine a lot of maps would be made using detractive. Because <laughs> um, it's just not a very efficient way to work. <laughs> I've made maps with detractive. And it's a pain in the dick. So. It's, uh. It's a very interesting thing. But also, additive is, like, way harder in some respects. Because making all of the BSP stuff and everything is, like. Because when you're working on your own, you don't. You know what? I'm gonna grab this first. Really, fam? Oh my goodness! <laughs> that was close. Oh, that was so close. so happy about that. Anyway. Machete Master. It should also be noted that, um, you know when you fall out of world and you die eventually? That's not a default part of a map. <laughs> which some people learn the hard way. <laughs> I think there comes a point where, like, you fall far enough that the game is just like, okay, fucking hell, stop. But, um, no, it's not an automatic process. <laughs> you, uh, a, d a person making the maps has to, um, put in a volume, they call it a volume in the editor. You have to put in a volume that is a death volume. <laughs> and you have to put it underneath all of the map. In order for it to... Damn. In order for it to um, kill you once, you. once you go too far out. <clears throat> a lot of game devs remember to do this. Some don't. More specifically, the developers of um, Devil May Cry, the new one, by Ninja Theory. They forgot to put that in. Uh, um, and they only put it in on specific parts. But if you break through the barrier that they put in, if you somehow glitch past the volume that they put in, um, there is no catch-all volume past that. It's just the games... Sometimes um, you'll go so far out that the game is like, okay, everything's unloading, I better do something. But other times it just lets you go and go and go and go. <laughs> Which was, um... Oh, shit. I... Oh, you bitch. Which isn't a huge deal, unless you want to, you know, prevent um, situations where people are just falling through the map endlessly. 
Which happened in Devil May Cry, the new one. <clears throat> so what does this do? So yeah, if you're an aspiring game developer and you want to stop people breaking out of your maps entirely and you use Unreal Engine, you've got to have your primary death plane for the actual gameplay that applies when you jump and it kind of catches you not too far out. You want to have that, but you also want to have another one which is just a generalized um, surrounding death plane, uh, death volume, so that you can catch people that fall or manage to glitch through or fall through your primary death plane so that uh, you don't get situations like in the new DMC where you just fall indefinitely. Always good to remember when you are developing your very own video game using Unreal Engine. I mean you could not think about that and just do it normally but I like to be thorough. Which is why in my uh, Unreal Engine created stuff I'm rambling, by the way, because, like, I'm just traversing puzzles and shit right now. So I'm just rambling. Wait, why can't I just jump over there? Oh, I can. Oh, oh, there's more I need to do. Okay. So I'm just rambling because I'm just trying to figure this out. Why couldn't I jump? Okay. Frame rate's taking a dive. <clears throat> but yeah, in all of my maps, I have a death plane. Well, any of my open maps, anyway. I have a death plane that handles um, when you fall off. And then I have... Ooh, did you guys see that? Hold up. Let me see if I can... Let me see if I can recreate that. Nope. Anyway, I have the first death plane, which is the primary one, which is for catching you if you fall off the map in normal gameplay. Then I have a secondary death plane that catches people if they fall out of the map or, or manage to somehow glitch past the first death plane. And I put, it fairly, I put them fairly far out just to catch glitches and stuff. Because you can never be too sure about that kind of thing. You never know where glitches will take people. So I put one below and above the map. Just in case. <laughs> it sounds like overkill initially, but if you look at one of my glitch videos for DMC, I fly upwards. And I indefinitely fly upwards, and I somehow trigger the loading of another map. Um, so to prevent shit like that, I put death planes on both above and below. <clears throat> because I'm crazy. Shit. So I get it right, and then I fuck it up, because I can't jump, apparently. Well, you know what they say about white people and jumping. <sighs> Yeah, I'm, I'm always extra careful. And it may not seem like it's worth it to do it, but it it literally takes five seconds. Why wouldn't you do that, you know? Like, the whole process... How do I fucking get over there? Are you serious? What? Jesus. The whole process of putting down a death plane and just making sure it's a catch-all is really easy. It's really simple. It takes five seconds. Tops. Don't even worry about it. Just do it. <clears throat> Unless you want to make your game glitch friendly. In which case, don't do that kind of shit. Okay. 
That just seems like a jump that I can't make, you know? Like, it's right on the edge of what I can make. Of course, if you want to be glitch friendly, you want to have your level error catching to be as lax as possible. So I can make that? That's fucking weird. Oh, but I. Mm, wait, what? How do I. What? Yeah, you want your level error catchings to be lax as fuck. <coughs> I know, I've played some games where they have put a death plane um, way out of bounds. Oh, I can double jump. Oh, fuck me. I always forget that there's a double jump in this game. Like I have I've literally never used it. And I always forget. But yeah, with a double jump this is a lot more possible. Fuck I'm stupid. Yup, there we go. All suddenly becomes possible. God damn it. I knew I was forgetting something. I'm gonna guess that I can't make that. <laughs> Whee. <clears throat> yeah, some games do have a catch-all death plane. But it, it, it's sometimes it's too far in. Um, to catch all the glitches. Fuck. You have to be right on the edge of the platform. Sometimes it's too far in to catch all the glitches and you have to uh, make allowances for that. <coughs> Local Wolverine struggles with jumping platform pl puzzles. Fuck. It's not even a puzzle, it's just a fucking jank platform section. <laughs> There we go, we made it, boys. Oh, great. I love spikes. Fuck! <laughs> that was great! That was great! I love that. <laughs> Not even being funny about it. That was fucking amazing. Oh, cool. The legendary uniform challenge. <clears throat> Sweet. Yo, what up? I will steal your bitch. <laughs> that was so good. It was so unexpected. Just fucking getting crushed out of nowhere. It's like a fucking well-timed RKO. Oh, hello there, buddy. Are you okay there? Because you don't look okay to me. <laughs> you don't look okay to me. You would have know. Okay, so I think with my rage on, I think I do a lot more damage here. Yup, I certainly did do a lot more damage. With my rage boner. Dang it. Kia. I'm ever so slightly confused about what kind of timings to use for that. I'm, I'm not really certain. Oh, I guess I'll just try it at random. So there are tons and tons of these mini-bosses. Like, I didn't think they were this frequent.
And I'm not sure how I feel about it either. I was just starting to have fun. The way that this is framed looks like that huge guy just devolved. Anyway. <laughs> you motherfucker. You ruined what I was saying. I'm the best at what I do. And what you do is... No, not gonna follow up? Alright. So I got a mutagen. A vitality. Samurai. Experienced. Unstoppable. I wonder how I unlock more mutagens. Uh, I don't got no thingies. Gee. Oh, there's so many of them. It's my lucky day. repeat what happened in the very beginning of the game where the people just cut down the bridge or try to in their case oh what's good though oh man wait what oh they jumped down after me I wish they all would make it so much easier on me Oh my god, their accents are so racist. Man, you hear about you people saying Ugandan Knuckles is racist? Like, no. <laughs> Ugandan Knuckles is pure. The thing is, is like, Ugandan Knuckles is just absurdist humor at its at its finest <clears throat> because it's absurdist but it's also like a sensory overload and it's great and that's what makes it funny is it's it's absurdist but it's also like a huge sensory overload it's pretty great I forgot I could double jump again. Why do I keep doing that? I really need to stop doing that. Uh, I've dropped 1,500 frames. Why is streaming to Twitch so bad? I should have picked the right server. I completely forgot about it. God damn it. Anyway, Uganda Knuckles is absurdist humor. It's a it's a sensory overload and it's absurdist, right? It's a sensory overload because of a few factors. First of all, the visuals. A, it's a very small caricature of Knuckles, which is hilarious. Two, um, the volume, the amount of Knuckles on screen at the same time 
is nuts. And <clears throat> so, like, that is a laugh in it, in of, of itself, is that there are so many of these goofy knuckles just hanging about. And then comes the audio. And the audio is the accents. And the clicking, the spitting, the... And all of that kind of stuff, right? And so, it's an audio-visual overload. And because of the amount of people doing it at any given time, the audio and the visual overload just get even more relevant. So it, 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 it's absurdist and it's a complete sensory overload. And that is why it's so funny. <clears throat> because there's so much going on at any given time with the Ugandan Knuckles meme. When you watch the videos, that it's... It's so goofy. Like, it's just so goofy. And people say, well, the accent's racist. That, that's... people. Some people think that that's a main part of it. And it's not. It's it's a part of it, you know, and it works together with the rest of it to make it a, a funny, a, a epic meme. Like, it, there's no one singular element of the Uganda Knuckles meme that makes it funny. Like, there is no one singular element. It's all of the elements together. Some people would laugh at just the accent, that, and that's fine. People find different things funny, and if they find, you know, that kind of thing funny, that's that's their prerogative. You know, I'm sure there are some people that find just the accent funny. That's fine. But that's not what makes the Uganda Knuckles meme so funny. It's the combination of everything that goes along with it, you know, that makes it so funny. Including the content of what's said. The content of what's said also adds to it. So it's just a... It's a, it's a holistically speaking... It's a funny meme. And I like it a lot. And I think claims of racism are just... Like most... Like, like a fair few claims of racism to do with memes nowadays. Is blown... Way out of proportion. I mean, a green frog is racist now, I mean. It's a green frog, dude. <laughs> are, we real, are we really getting bent out of shape over a green frog? Apparently so. <laughs> you know. People take shit way too seriously. That are just funny jokes and memes. You know. Which is a fairly common problem nowadays, really. People just take shit way too seriously. In general. Blow- take things too seriously and blow things out of proportion. Happens way too much. I'm just gonna toss everybody off. <laughs> Like, I've accused the like I've accused people on the internet before of being way too um, literalist and like no fun allowed, and it just seems to be getting worse, and it's a real shame. Because when something's funny, it's like it's funny, and what I love the most is people like. I used to laugh at the Uganda Knuckles meme, then I realized how racist it was. No, 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 it doesn't work like that. You already laughed at it, you've already committed the sin. It's too late to go back on that now. Don't even try it. <laughs> it's too late for you. You're gone, you're, you've, you're, you've lost.
<laughs> it's like something doesn't stop being funny because you have this sudden realization, oh my god, that shit's racist. <laughs> People are fucking stupid. <laughs> Uh, no, nah, that's fine. And what's even better is that the, um, <clears throat> the, the meme is actually referencing a movie. And I can't remember, I can never remember the name of the movie, it's something like, um, who kills Captain Alex? Something like this. What the hell is it called? Let me find out. I got, it's it's a very new title to me, so I can't remember what it's called. Um, yeah, it's by it's by it, Ugandan's first action movie. Who killed Captain Alex? There you go. And it's referencing that. And the makers of the movie have been on board with the memes. So, it, you know. It's the same with the H&M kid, though, right? It's like, people are getting offended for them. And the mother has recently come out saying, get the fuck over it. And it's just like, well, thank you, dude. And now people are attacking her because she's not conforming to the the line that people want her to tow. And so it just becomes a, a stupid thing. It's like, mostly white people, I'm gonna say it now, mostly white privileged people in America on their iPhones <laughs> with all their clothing made in sweatshops think that they are the arbiters of offense and that they can be offended for other people and that everybody should be offended at what they're offended at and it, it just doesn't work that way that noise is not a good noise <laughs> And quite frankly, it's pa it's patronizing. Like, they think they're being helpful, but they're not. It's patronizing. She is a grown-ass black woman who can decide for herself what she gets offended by. She doesn't need some fucking idiots on Twitter dictating to her what to be offended by. You know? It's like... Women can only think for themselves when it toes the line. But if it doesn't, ooh, we better watch that mouth. It, the, it's such a double, it's such a stupid thing. I wish this whole culture would die already. Like, the culture that endorses this kind of behavior, I wish it would die already. A swift, painful death, preferably.
great. First of all, I don't think Wolverine is technically Weapon X. He is X-24, more specifically, right? Like, he's just a product of the Weapon X program, but Wolverine himself is not Weapon X, right? Like, he's X-24. What the fuck? Deploying Wendigo prototype. Oh, he's a Wendigo? Oh, so they just take regular-ass dudes and screw him up? That's fucked up, man. And like a pretty flower, he grows. <laughs> Give me that dog tag, though. <laughs> All about them dog tags. Motherfucker. I just so amazed that it, it amazed how quickly people nowadays will just designate someone, you know, push someone into Uncle Tom status just because they don't agree with them. Being incredibly racist in order to fight racism, it's like, what? How is that even logical? Oh, damn. I love getting hit face first by a nuke. It's my favorite activity. <laughs> Nothing beats it. I oh, hit my face, girl. <laughs> Aren't they scared they'll kill the Wendigo? Or are they just so focused on killing me, little old me? Oh, they don't give a shit about the Wendigo. I'm missing most of my body now. I do. Look at how much of my body I'm missing. Seriously, look at that. I am basically a skeleton. <laughs> the damage effects are so cool on this game. I keep saying it, but it... Look at that. Like, I keep saying it, but it keeps being true. Damage effects are so goddamn good in this game. Yo, what up, Wendigo? Yeah, I tried to slash him while I was climbing. And what? <laughs> I think not getting paid to think is probably their problem and why they're losing so much. It's just a thought. I don't get paid to think in these tactical situations. God damn it. being on a porn set and saying, I don't get paid to take this dick. <laughs> well, your contract of work would say otherwise. Ugh, man.
chuck him. And then leap at him again and demolish his face. Got it. And they put that right in my way, so that's not really missable unless you actively try and avoid it. Oh, there's the wind to go. Hey, buddy. Dang it. My buddy hates me. It's because I keep shitting on his porch. If you had someone that kept shitting on your porch, would you hate them? Asking for a friend. That's what the people in Until Dawn should have done. Just get Wolverine to kill the Wendigos. Everything would have been fine. Yeah, that... that okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, Jesus. Just straight off, huh? Not even a struggle. I can go inside your body, boy. <laughs> There's his head. Let's kick it around like a football. You can't. <laughs> Jesus, this frame. <laughs> Don't even bother with the balance boards. <gasps> A Wolverine. Go to the main menu and select bonus to play it. Alright. I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. You know, I've always found in my personal experience that when you've got a really tough enemy, you just keep throwing numbers at them and eventually they'll give in. Oh wait, no, that doesn't work, never mind. Like, it would work if you were, like, fighting a normal human that wasn't a complete mutant. You know, complete mutant freak. But, um... They're not. Do you think it's part of their, like, care package? Or, like, retirement package? Like, if you make it to the age of retirement, good fucking job. Here's, like, infinite money. <laughs> Like, this seems like a really bad job to have to sign up for. I leveled up. Like, the party that gets held for you is just, like, people sitting around, like just staring at you, like, damn, how, <laughs> how, 
<laughs> How did he even? <laughs> like just everyone stares at you with amazement, just like, well, how the fuck are you even alive right now? He can't ever let anybody know his dirty secret. He just hid in the corner while his friends got butchered by the Wolverine. Uh, let me get some of this going. Oh damn, my eyes blow red and everything. That's cool. God damn it. That's unfortunate. I wish, like, they would play on that aspect a little more of soldiers that were duped into signing up. And are like, oh god, please don't fucking kill me, I didn't want this. And, like, have some sort of, like, they look like monsters to you kind of line going. Wouldn't that be so fucked up? <clears throat> Wouldn't it be fucked up but great? Also, I need to take a drink. My fucking throat, man. <clears throat> oh, dear God. Uh, I kind of want to wait for 12, if I'm being completely honest. Because... I don't know if you've noticed, but I am not doing that bad on the health department. At all. In fact, I'd say I'm doing pretty stellar. So one thing I've always wondered about Wolverine's blades is... Do they have serrated edges? Pardon me, like, is the length of the blade sharp? I mean, I think they've implied this, but sometimes he doesn't cut with the blade. Sometimes he, like, pokes it in and then cuts. So what? what is the sharp point on his blades? Are the whole things sharp? Or is it just a sharp point? Like, cause realistically speaking, like, it'd have to, they'd have to be pretty fucking sharp to cut through the shit he cuts through. Or is it all based on the point, the pointy end? I don't know. I don't know the answers to these questions. I wish I did. Maybe I'll have to Google it. Nice one, Wolverine. Trying to grasp onto something that's not grasp onable. Wow. Fuck. I fucked that one up. Oh, and the frame rate takes a dive. <laughs> nope. The game ate my input. I was um, trying to jump, and the game just ate my input. And it was like, you wanted to jump? Nah. Nah. That's what the frame rate being bad does for you. When it drops frames, it can drop inputs very. Uh, I was gonna say very easily, but no, that's just that's just the sentence. When it drops frames, it drops inputs. Man, that fucking sucks. I mean, thankfully this isn't like a, a super precise. Uh, hack and slash game like Devil May Cry so thankfully like it doesn't matter as much but I would still like the frame rate to be way higher than it actually is it would just feel so much nicer to play 
I need to check out the PC version. I need to see if I can get that running without games for Windows. That horrendous hunk of shit software. Is this where I came from? Oh god, I don't know anymore. I think it might be. But yeah, I kind of... Hold on, let me... Why are these green? Oh, probably because I can kill people with them. So wait a minute. I was supposed to do something with this. Oh. Okay. You know what game I would love to see remastered? Hulk's Ultimate Destruction. I would love for that game to get remastered. That would be so good. That game was so good. It was ridiculous how good it was. I only ever rented it. Which I'm still salty about. Because when the video shop closed down, that was like one of the first games to get bought. <laughs> and I was so fucking mad. Because I wanted it for myself. Why did you just go quiet all of a sudden, bro? Command, we have contact. Weapon X is in the courtyard. It was a Keep in them dog tags, boy. Oh good, the dog tags are actually starting to give me more experience now. As it isn't just a pathetic 500 XP. Sweet. Ah, fuck. Fuck that guy. Just seen... Let me take out the jobber first. Really? Why? Why? Can you not... <laughs> You not get stuck down here, please. You make my job so much harder. <laughs> Are you alright there, buddy? <laughs> you look like you were freaking out. Not gonna lie. What is he doing? Okay, so my normal ways to get around him are seemingly non-functional. Or sometimes functional. W weird. I don't quite fully understand that. Oh, that just goes right through him. Well, alright then. That You know what? That helps a lot. Alright, so let me do this attack. Let's kill that guy. Then I want to put him on that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my life goal is complete now. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to do this. Now we're going to play it a bit more cautiously because I am running a bit out of health. Not a huge amount, but enough. So it seems like you can go around him without doing anything. But you have to be very then then very specific on your window of movement. Otherwise you just start blocking again.
God, fuck. I wanted to do this. <laughs> Sweet. That was a final glitch. I enjoyed it very much. Just toss him into a wall. Exploded. Then we'll retreat to the bridge. There's a lot of dudes here. Makes me wonder what's going on. In their personal lives, you know. Oh good. Sorry, but Mass doesn't work like that. He would be red hot. He'd be hotter than the fucking sun right now. Oh, shit. Yeah, also, isn't that like a huge problem that you have to torture him after you've already tortured him a whole bunch? You have to torture him a whole bunch more in order to get him to transform. Like, this, this all seems very flawed. Seems very flawed. Just like this game's frame rate. Very flawed. Shit. That fucks up what I was gonna do initially then. No, oh, well. let's get him in the back. Yeah, the frame rate's not great here. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm literally gonna dodge away from him and try again. Oh, That didn't work either. Fuck. I don't know what the timings are on this. I do have to wait for him to be doing something or like this, I don't know. Too wrecked. Fuck. Exploding barrel. Only really hit me. Epic. Jesus, I'm gonna die. Oh, that's gonna be the end of me. Or not. Run away! Oh! No, that's the end of me. I never know when to do that leap, you know? I never really know. Oh, the frame rate's fucking garbage. <laughs> in this fucking section. Oh my gosh. All the way back here, huh? Can't say I agree with that, but all right. First iffy... Hey, what's going on at the bridge? Um, headed this way. No shit. Come in. Really? You didn't see shit. Stop lying to me. You didn't see a goddamn thing. I was hiding. Fuck you. Can I just say that I also hate the fact that the rolling out of the way move is a two button input? When it should only really realistically be one. Just throwing that out there.
He's still freaking out. What the fuck? You know what? I'm gonna save my rage for, uh, for Big Bubba. Oh, fuck you, really? I didn't even know that this section was a thing. God damn it. When near death. Nah, fuck that. Yeah. Let's just get the quick kills. Shit. I can tell that some fuck is gonna be like, oh, you should have gotten health upgrade. Nah. Nah. Never. I don't play that shit. <laughs> I'm a fucking man. It's not like Devil May Cry or Bayonetta where you've got like a limited health bar and it doesn't come back unless you actively, you know, heal up. You motherfucker, really? Fuck, I didn't mean to... Oh, fuck you. What the fuck is the timing, really? I'm still in the dark about how to time that shit. Yep, still very much in the dark about how to time it. The fuck? I suppose I have to be to his back or something? Raw. So I guess I just have to wait until his back is turned to me. Something like that. 
I was so hoping for that. Also, level up. Yeah. I have six skill points. And I cannot break those. Wait, mutagen's level two? What's this? Yeah! Alright. Uh, there we go. All part of the plan. See, the plan is use the mutagens to negate damage taken so that I can just focus on my actual attack power in the actual levels. Leveling. So if I can mitigate the damage that I take regularly with the mutagens, then everything's grizzate. Tis it not. Great. What's up, asshole? Yep, they're invisible. There we go, we got one. <laughs> yeah, we got another one. Kill him. Oh, damn it. oh no, I don't. Never mind. He's trying to fuck things up for me. This is big time. I kind of respect the hustle, but at the same time, fuck you, dude. Wait, didn't I see something? Ah, whatever. Alright, here we go. No idea where I have to carry this to. That beam is too shiny, I don't like it. I could do nothing with it, but it was way too shiny. You have to agree with me here. It's too shiny. Ah. Dog tags. Alright. Where do I have to take these? Oh, that's that invisible guy. Hey, oh. There you are. Alright, what do I have to take this shit? Uh, 
what now? Was it in that room, but I couldn't access it because of the dude? Oh no, here it is. Can I be right up close when it fucking... Hell yeah! That's exactly what I wanted. How did it know? <laughs> that was precisely what I wanted. <sighs> yeah, wow, ow. That hurt so bad. On the forklift you go. <laughs> On the pipe you go. <laughs> oh yeah. Rampage. Don't need it. Uh, you know what? Could you just like slap him on that thing? God damn it. Why don't you just slap him on it? I mean, that'll work, I guess. <laughs> that'll work too. immediately uh, that's cool but nah I'm good yeah he did pretty standard stuff for Wolverine I ain't gonna leave a buddy behind. <laughs> that was great. Oh, oh shit. One second of hesitation got me killed there. Fuck. Oh no! I nearly got killed again. I did get killed again. After phasing through the wall. Glorious. Fuck. I think after this level I, I will end the stream though. I've been going for a bit. I got a bit of a headache coming on actually. And I've got to record um, a rocksmith related thing. Um, 
for a compilation someone's doing. Well, let's put it this way, I don't gotta, I wanna. <laughs> There's a difference, I guess. But I feel like I gotta, you know. That's where it matters. I feel like I gotta. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Da, 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 da. No, that's how you do a fucking bridge chase down sequence. Take notes, Ninja Theory. Take notes. <laughs> Look at that shit. So good. I mean, they could try not holding their fire. I mean, that would work too, right? Invisible cunts. Yep, I believe I see an invisible guy. And there he is. Alright, I believe that's all the invisible cunts. <laughs> I love just the casual... Like, the casual nature of that animation just gets me every time. Like, it's just so casually done. I love it. <laughs> and away they go. Such a stupid thing, none of these doors can be open. Oh. Also, I've, I ordered a prop for the thing I'm recording today with Rocksmith. Uh, so i got to wait for my prop to get here, I'm afraid. Which sucks, because I just want to get it out of the way. I've been practicing for a little while now to make sure it's on point and not fucking disgusting performance so hopefully it all goes well hopefully yeah I've been practicing I think for like a, a week maybe less no, yeah, about a week. You know, I don't... I don't want to half-ass it, you know? Like, if I'm going to do it, I want to do it right, you know? Fuck. And plus, I'm not actually using the, the audio from Rocksmith. So it's like, it's even more imperative that I don't get things wrong, you know. Fuck me. Like I keep saying, it's the trajectory on these rockets that just make it really confusing for me. Because they're not consistent at all their variable trajectory, and that just throws me off. Their like variable traje trajectory on an object that I have to parry is so weird. You picked the wrong house, bub. Wolverine defending the Xavier Mansion X2. <laughs> Really? I thought there'd be something down here. 
There's nothing? So it's just if you're stupid and fail to jump? Really though? It's just if you're stupid and fail to jump. Wow. This, you mean this really easy to do jump? Jeez. Well, I think I'm going to stop here. So... Uh, although it looks like I'm at the end of the mission now, but... I'm still going to stop here because I'm... You know... Reasons. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Ooh, we can do statistics. Oh, that's cool. Alright, that's cool. Well, anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the, the play through thus far. And, um, yeah, we, I, I feel like we got, I feel like we got a fair bit done this session. And, uh, I feel like we're, we've bonded. We're closer together than ever. And, um, yeah, I feel, I feel like we're blood brothers now. I feel like we need, I feel like we've, I feel like we've involuntarily signed to a suicide pact with each other, and I, I, I'm not going to say much, but I'm just saying you first, you know? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching, and I might try some of these at some point, I don't know. Thank you for watching, and I'm out. Bye. And remember not to drink the Kool-Aid. It's a bad Kool-Aid. <laughs>